Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Welcome to the United Computers channel. This video will demonstrate the use of the subtotal function in Excel. In this example file, we will subtotal the salaries of company employees by department, but you can use it in your own data to subtotal sales by employee, product sales, cost of goods, and much more. In fact, anywhere where numbers can be added, subject to their identification. The data you see here has been converted to a table, but the data must be reconverted to a non-table as the subtotal function is not available in tables, that is, until the subtotal procedure is completed. To convert, simply right-click on any cell in the table and then move down to Table, Convert to a Range. And the data will be asked to confirm. Do you want to convert the table? Yes. After conversion, you can still have the filter buttons if you wish by clicking on the Data tab and then tick the Filter button in the Sort and Filter group. That puts the filter buttons back on, but the data is in non-table format. Now let's use the subtotal feature. Because we want to subtotal the salaries by department, we need to sort the data by department. So I'll do that by clicking on the filter button and we'll say sort A to Z and the data is sorted by department. Then click the data command and look at the far right and click subtotal. When we click subtotal, the subtotal window appears. Now use at each change in department, not by employee, but in department, at each change in department, and make sure that you're looking at the sum function. Then in add subtotal to, we want to click salary and department. Now when we click OK, there I see that a blank line has been inserted by Excel and we see the totals for the various departments. For example, the administration total salaries are 290,000, engineering 145,000, etc. You can now, if you wish, convert the data set back to a table by clicking in any cell and insert table. Notice that when you insert the table that the outline bars appear here at the left. The outline bars are used to group and ungroup the data in the table. They work like this. The far left, the minus sign, the group is used to show the grand total and it hides all of the other information. By clicking the plus sign, it puts things back where they were. The three negative signs here, the grouping buttons, work on the order of the subtotaling. So for example, this first one will group the administration totals and just show that amount. Similarly, the second will group the engineering totals because the engineering total subtotal is the second uh, in order. And the third one, of course, is the sales total. And there is also naturally a grand total. To bring them back, you simply click on them and they'll be brought back in the order in which they were originally totaled. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. 
We love likes and comments, and if you do subscribe, by the way, remember to click the bell when you will be automatically notified of upcoming videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.